Question 9. The circle C has equation x minus 2 squared plus y minus 6 squared equals 100. A verified, verify that the point K 10, 0 lies on C. B find the equation of the tangent to C at the point 10, 0 in the form of ax plus by plus c equal to zero. The general circle equation, when you have a circle with a center ab extending a line from the center to the circumference of the circle with a coordinate x and y, the general equation is x minus a squared plus y minus b squared equals r squared. So we are given a circle equation here. If we compare that with this one, we can tell the center of the circle here because from the center of the circle you can see a is the center of the circle and minus 2 minus a so therefore 2 and a 2 a equals 2 and b equals 6. That's the point at the center of the circle. And the radius of the circle is 10 because r squared is 100. To verify that the point k lies on the circle, if we, this is our x, this is x and this is y. So if you substitute x and y into the equation of the circle, and if we get 100, then k lies on the circle. So if k lies on the circle, on the center, on the circle, then we substitute x for 10 and y for 0. And if we get 100, then it lies on the circle. So now we've substitute y and x with their values. So we got 8 squared minus 6 squared, 8 squared is 64, minus 6 squared is 36, 64 plus 36 is 100. Therefore, k at point 10, 0 lies on the circle C. Question B. Find an equation of the tangent to C at the point 10, 0 in the form of ax plus by plus C equal to 0. Right, so we've got circle with the center C and the point K. The point K has its coordinate, which is 10, 0. And the center C has its coordinate, which is 2, x equals to 2, and 6. From, from the circle property, if we draw a line from the center of the circle to the tangent on the circle, that will form a right angle between the normal line, so the vertical line is the normal line, and the line horizontal here is, this, is the tangent. Each line has its own gradient. The gradient of the normal is called Mn. M stands for gradient and N for normal. The gradient of the tangent is called Mt, T for tangent, and there's a relationship between the normal gradient and the tangent. The relationship is Gradient of the tangent times gradient of the normal equals minus 1. But we're told to find the equation of the tangent. To find the equation of the tangent, because we don't know anything about tangent except the point where it meets the normal. But we know the two line, two points joining the normal. We know the center and the point K. So from that, we can find the gradient of the normal. Once we know the gradient of the normal, then we can find the gradient of the tangent. With the coordinate, we can find the equation of the tangent. Okay, the first thing we need to do is to find the normal gradient, CK. CK is the normal gradient, is the normal. Now, to find the gradient, C has a coordinate 2, 6, and K has a coordinate 10, 0. The 2 is x1, 6 is y1, because that's point 0.1. And k is 0.2, so that's 
x2 and y2. The formula for calculating the gradient m, in this case m normal, equals y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. Sometimes it's called difference in y over difference in x, which means changing y over changing x. Changing one is y2 minus y1. Changing x is x2 minus x1. y2 is 0 and y1 is 6. x2 is 10 and x1 is 2. So if we plug in those values, we can find the gradient of normal. So m normal is minus 6 over 8, which is minus 3 over 4. But m tangent is minus 1 over m normal from the equation here, which equals to minus 1. m normal is minus 3 over 4. So m normal, m tangent is 4 over 3. So that's the gradient of the tangent. You can see the tangent is going through the point 10, 0, point k, and it has its own gradient. So we only need one coordinate and a gradient to find the equation of that line. To find the equation of a line, if you know the gradient and one coordinate, then you can find the equation of that line. So in this case, the y1, this is x1, and that's y1. So I'm going to plug those values here into this equation. And I know the gradient m, in this case is mt. That's what I'm looking for, the tangent. So that's mt here. So plugging those values in, now I get y minus 0, y1 is 0 equals mt is 4 over 3, open bracket x minus 10. Therefore, y equals 4 over 3x minus 40 over 3. But I need to find the solution in terms of a x plus b y plus c equal to 0. So all I need to do is to multiply the whole thing by 3. Then I get 3y equals 4x, with 3 we cancel each other out, minus 40. Again, 3 we cancel each other out. All that I need to do is take the 3y to the other side, and then it will look like that. Therefore, 4x minus 3y minus 40 equal to 0 where a equals 4, b equals minus 3, and c equals minus 40. Mm -hmm.